starve to death for all I care. Alright guys, we've just had some new details from Crimson Desert. It's an upcoming, really underrated game that looks absolutely amazing. I mean, look at all of this. And with the developers past games that released on both consoles and PC, it's no doubt with the release date window they've given that it'll release on PS5, Xbox Series X and PC. Now, this is looking crazy. It's like a mix of Skyrim and Kingdom Come Deliverance. And for those wondering, it won't be like their past games they've made. This one will have a story of some sort to follow. And yet, this is from the creators of Black Desert. Which is why it's called Crimson Desert, but it's a completely new game. It will have a story, either single player or multiplayer. These animations, man. These Pearls Abyss guys, the developers really know how to make great graphics. Alright guys, Crimson Desert is an upcoming open world RPG with some MMO elements in it. And this game, in my opinion, is already one of the best looking game of the next generation of consoles. If any of you know the history of Pearl Abyss, its developers, then you know they will deliver on the graphics side. For example, with Black Desert Online. After many years, it is still looking like it could have released right now as we speak. There's no doubt that I trust these guys to create something beautiful. Now before we go into the game's new details, like its release date window, let's talk about what this project is all about. A lot of you might not know about it, so let's get into the details. First of all, Crimson Desert was announced in November of 2019 with an absolutely stunning trailer that took the gaming community by storm at the time. It felt like a mix of The Witcher, Skyrim and Kingdom Come Deliverance all at the same time, and I truly loved it myself. The game was originally created to tell the story of Black Desert Online's past, but the studio says the project has evolved into something much more epic and important. It really wanted to make this a standalone game, completely separated from their other projects. And so it did. It completely evolved with original elements, including never-seen-before lands, narratives like new stories and secrets to uncover, and completely new characters you'll meet and follow throughout your journey. The game has a big emphasis on storytelling, engaging quest and a more fleshed out narrative. This means that the player will experience this story through five unique playable mercenaries. Crimson Desert tells the story of many different characters whose fates are entwined with the main character and his band of mercenaries. At its core, it offers an immersive single player campaign with engaging quests based on the exploit of many mercenaries. There is a much bigger focus on PvE content such as enemy AI fighting, dungeons and raids with a progression system to complement that. This was something Black Desert couldn't pull as the progression system never aligned with the traditional MMORPG format. With Crimson Desert, it is a lot more centered on the player versus environment aspect. Players will face many dangers in the world, along with a centered awesome storyline to follow. But of course, as it is still an MMO in some places, you will be able to play with other players and fight against them too. It is also described as the true next-gen MMORPG experience, with a diverse range of creatures, both big and small, that will always threaten your survival. This is a land of mythical beings that are neither friend or foe. To survive bigger threats, you need to make strategic choices, all brought to life with Pearl's Abyss' unique action-driven combat system, upgraded from the past games, as said. Now we finally add a release window for when Crimson Desert will be releasing, and it is not that close since they want it to be massive. Crimson Desert will be releasing in Q4 of 2021. That means between October, November and December of 2021 if nothing changes until then. It is still a year away but I'm betting we will see a lot more from it in the coming months. It is a big enough game to be featured at places like the Game Awards in December of this year or E3 next year if that actually happened. Crimson Desert Subtile, which is a saga written in blood, 
episode encapsulates the epic events that will test the mercenary heroes. Blood will be spilled as said. The character you see in the key art is Macduff, son of Martinus. He is the leader of a ragtag band of mercenaries you'll be following. Macduff is a man in constant turmoil, struggling with the responsibilities of leadership and the survival of those who rely on him. He has a tragic past and no matter how hard he tries, he cannot escape from it. That will be a part in the story. The story itself is of growth and resilience. It is a story of mercenaries plagued by hardship and pain, and their endeavors to survive in a hostile world like this. Each character that you meet or that follows you has their own unique backgrounds and tales to tell, affecting everything from the decisions they make to the gear they equipped. So each decision you make will have different reactions, depending on the other characters that follows you. This also extends to the lands of Crimson Desert, which are full of other mercenary groups, each with their own distinct personalities and inclinations. Crimson Desert offers an immersive single-player campaign, as said, teaming with engaging quests based on the exploits of many mercenaries you'll find available for hire. There will also be a vast amount of content based around a more traditional MMORPG format, for those that are fans of that. They also said this is a world designed for you to freely enjoy, with various content at the high levels expected of a next generation MMORPG. This is an open world that is as beautiful as it is dangerous, filled with a cast of fascinating characters, mercenary groups and others trapped in a spiral of endless feuds and bloody battles for survival. As it is the case in a lot of Pearl Abyss games, they created a world full of playable content including trade, exploration and much more with realistic character representations, rich backgrounds, and action that is as thrilling as possible, whether you're playing on PC or the newest consoles. Journey through a vast realm fractured by conflict, a cold and colorless desert, and cities as breathtaking as they are ruthless. There's more to the world of Crimson Desert than at first meets the eye. You will be able to write your own story of strife as you fight your way to survival. Each battle fought in this world is said to alter the course of the story, and and the fate of some of its lands. Alright guys, this game is looking really promising and with each new detail that releases from this, count me in to cover it. Also, I know a lot of you have shared comments already, but make sure you put a comment on which upcoming game you want me to cover next. I've heard names of Negative Atmosphere, of course Cyberpunk 2077 and others, so let me know what I should cover next. I will be way more focused on indie games as opposed to AAA games from now on. I love to give small projects a chance to come alive. Definitely let me know if you'd like to see more though by liking this video and subscribing to stay tuned. There's also another upcoming Pearl Abyss game that I talked about on the channel not too long ago and I'm gonna share it on the screen at the very end and this game also looks very ambitious so make sure you check it out. Thanks to Rickno23, Themistocles, Pedro Oliveira and Jiggly Boy for being a master member on the channel. You can become a survivor member for 99 cents only. It'll support me and the channel as whole. Thanks for watching.